Your handover video on the Luna Clubman SB. So we'll start off at the front. You have your Alco hitch and stabiliser. So you put your toe back in, back handle goes down, Alco stabiliser pushes down like so until you see this green outline pop out. To release, Alco stabilise back up, black handle up, cable falls out. Put your brake cable, jockey wheel, handbrake. Gas locker with a bulkhead regulator fitted for butane or propane. And you've got your 13 pin plug here, which goes into the back of your car, which does your lights and your 12 volts to the fridge if your car is wired up correctly. To the offside, we have your Truma water inlet. So, what you do is you get your umbilical cord, or your pump, sorry, put it into the back wall. Lift the blue trigger up and slot it in. Your battery locker, so you have your 230 mains inlet. You have your two 110 amp battery. Battery strap, strap it all in, terminals it goes on. So, have the flu for your fridge. Waste outlets down there. We have your filler point here for your toilet flush. So obviously you put your water and your toilet chemical in to be able to flush into the toilet. And then once released, you put it in like so, empty it, and then push it back in. All your lights working. And also you're on the light working, but now it's hard to van. It's hard to caravan, up with your door. You have your master button here, which turns van on and off to an auto lock in. And you have your internal lights, but obviously you can do some of them separate. Your all and light, as you can see, working on the outside. And here we have your vehicle battery, solar panel, and your battery power in the van. And obviously here you have your water, but obviously if none of this lights up here, you've got your consumer unit under here, you've got your shutdown button which every time you use it you push it in. And when you're not using it you push it out which turns all power off. And next to me here you have charger which is turned on, space heater and water heater. You need both of these on if you're going to be using your water heater or room heater on electric. And underneath here, which you turn the light back on for you, so you can see, you have your drain off valve just there, like so, underneath the sofa. That needs to be down in the horizontal position to keep all the water in the system. So, obviously, once you're ready to use the water, you click here, like so. When you open the tap, your pump will start running, and obviously, you just get all the air out of the system in your kitchen tap bathroom tap and also your shower once all the air is drained off your pump will be calibrated and obviously it will turn on and off as it needs to to the right of me here we have your Audi control panel so you press the power button like so then you press menu but obviously there you have your internal temperature, mains inside the van, and that it is circulating. These two icons here are very important. That means you've got mains in the van. And obviously that just means it's circulating around the van. When you press menu, you have your temperature, so you can set it up to what you like. Here is your water, so you can have it on off, hot, or boost. Obviously if you want the heating and the hot water to work together, you have it on just hot. If you have it on boost, it will just focus on the hot water. Electric, one kilowatt, two kilowatt, three kilowatt, depending what your site can pull. And obviously you can have it on gas or you can have it on both. To turn off, you just hold this button here like so, and it will turn itself off. Here we have your Dometic fridge. So to turn on, you hold this button here, power button there, and you've got three settings. You've got 230, which obviously if you've got mains in the van, it will just connect to the mains. If it does not work, and it is error, so if it comes up like this, 
you just press that triangle there, obviously, and it will reset itself and try again. If not, obviously check your supply. Gas, so when you click on gas, it will start ticking. And obviously it will be lit because you would hear it. But if it is not lit, it will be flashing blue again. And this triangle here will be flashing red. Obviously on gas, it is very common that it might not light the first time. So you just press this here and obviously just let it try again. If not, check your supply. Battery, obviously once you're connected to your car and your car is wired up correctly, it will, it will only maintain the temperature already in the fridge. So obviously if you're going away on holiday and you've got a long trip and you've got, and you store it at home or somewhere like that where you can get power into it, power it up, get a nice temperature in the fridge. And then once you connect it to your car, it will maintain that temperature already in the fridge. And to hold, turn off, just hold the power button like so, and it will turn off. So here we have your Fetford, uh, oven you've got an electrical burner and then three burners at the top so to turn on the electric one you've got settings here one to six obviously once the LED, once that red LED light comes on it's telling you that it is on with the gas so what you do you grab the knob push it in anti-clockwise push the igniter and obviously it will come on just to see, show you that all working like so So, turn them off, just turn them back clockwise. And then your grill, same thing again, push it to what setting you want it on, high flame or low flame. And obviously it is lit like that. Turn off clockwise again. And then your oven, you choose what setting you want. So you set it on four, press the ignite button. And obviously there you go. Underneath the oven, just in case you need to know where they are, you have got your gas manifolds for each appliance to turn them on and off. But they will be all facing the on position when it leaves here. Towards the back, well in the bathroom, sorry, you have got your Fetford toilet as we discussed on the outside point. So obviously once you've filled up your water and fluid, obviously you've done your business. When you want to wash it away, you press the flush, Obviously all your chemical will come out of there. And then once you're ready to release it into the cassette, you push this away from you and then push it back, which opens a little flap at the bottom. Obviously it does need to be closed when the cassette comes out. Also fitted to your van, have a sergeant alarm. So obviously you've got a key fob here. So what you do is you press it once. Hear it beep, that's it set. And obviously this little PIR there, it will sense any movement and obviously will activate once it senses any movement. Then to turn off, two beeps, and obviously that is it all turned off. You have two key fobs. This one on here is a little light, and this one is in connect with the awning light. Before we demonstrate the motor mover, we have two uh, sheets just to cover quickly we have your warranty cover which will be left in the van but you will also have one of these um, in your order in your uh, sales pack and you'll also have a card for Neil Waples who's the workshop manager so obviously any warranty issues will need to be covered and spoke with himself next door we have the winterization sheet obviously now it is in the winter month in the winter months obviously just shows you how to drain off your van correctly just to stop the winter um, just to stop any water getting left in the van and obviously causing damage when it's frozen but obviously this here will be all you need to know regarding winterization um, now on the mover also fit to the van you have a power touch manual mover so you put your bar on like so engage it onto the wheel so you hear a clunk which should do both sides if it has a a bar across which it does and then what you do is turn on once it's engaged hold two green buttons like so to obviously turn the mover on obviously then you want to turn on your isolation key so you put that in there like so 
turn it clockwise and then once it's engaged you can release the handbrake so now move on the mover so you can come forward backwards front to me front away from me and reverse once finished turn off the handset my two green buttons again handbrake lifted up move the key turned anti-clockwise and then disengage from the wheel and that is it thank you